Hi family, welcome to the channel once again. You know, it is so amazing to meet you here. Now, today's sermon is from Pastor Chris once again. Now, in this sermon, Pastor Chris shares how we can conquer self. As Christians, we are aware that the flesh is our enemy. It is always fighting against the spirit, it says in the book of Galatians. In this amazing sermon by Pastor Chris, he explains how we can conquer self. Isn't this amazing? I believe this is the sermon that you've been waiting for. Everyone is waiting to listen so that we can overcome the flesh. So without wasting time, family, let's get into it. Whatever you are doing now, whatever you are doing now with your finances, as far as it relates to God, this is what you will do if God multiplied your finances by 100 times. Believe me. Money is an amplifier. Which means money amplifies your character. Money is an amplifier. Anything you're doing with your money today is amplifying your character. So this thing is a character thing. You can trace your character. You can read your character by your use of money. That's why it will not change when it is multiplied. You will do exactly the same thing because it amplifies your character. The only thing is, you're going to do all the bad things you have done so far with the money in a bigger way. Wow, wow. This is so deep. So money is an amplifier. And um, what we used to do with our money, that's what we are going to do in a bigger way. Wow. So let's listen to the rest of the song. And if you use your money rightly too, you will do all the good things you've done in a bigger way. And that's why God loves multiplying the finances of those who are favoring his righteous cause. Wow, hallelujah. Are you still there? Oh yes, that's why I know I, I always will have more and more money and it always happens to me. I keep having more and more. Because my number one thought is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I keep having more and more. And that's why I bring the same thought to you. Get smart. Don't use, don't use God's tithe for business to say when the, when the next supply comes or when the next payment comes, then I will now pay the big tithe from there. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. In fact, you are setting up that business for a frustration. You are setting it up. You're likely going to lose all your investment. So you're setting yourself up. So like I said, I, I hope to talk to you about your finances as well because I really want you to have a lot of money. I want you to talk big and be able to push the gospel everywhere from wherever you are. The Bible says a rich man speaks roughly, but a poor man makes entreaties. See, and I don't want you to be like that, making entreaties. There are times to talk roughly. Say, I follow instructions. <laughs> it's very important. You know, that's why Jesus distinguished between the sheep and the goats. Goats cannot follow instructions. Have you ever watched a goat? He just meh and goes like this. But the sheep, you know, you can put your hand on a sheep and it will stand right there with you. If you like, put a rope on a goat's neck. That's it will resist to put his hand like ah! he's not moving. 
You do that to a ram or a sheep, just put the, it will follow you. Wow. So this is where Christians need to understand. So in the body of Christ or in the church, there are two kinds of people, the goats and the sheep. So where do you belong to? Think about this. Let's listen to the entire song. Try it. If you've never tried it, try it. When I was younger, my dad had lots of those kind of things, and I, I always was the one feeding them, so I can tell you. Go and try it. Go out to the market, buy a goat. <laughs> then buy a sheep and try it. Put a rope on their necks and see which one will follow you. One will follow you willingly. The other one will resist you. That's the goat. If you don't know the difference, if you've never seen them, I can tell you how you would distinguish between them. It's four arms. It will make them like this. <laughs> and the neck will be stiff. <laughs> You'll be pulling it. <laughs> but the sheep will follow you. Wow, family, this, this is just amazing. This is so amazing. So this is the end of our reaction video. And I believe that we've learned so much about, uh, about money. The money is an amplifier in one's life. And if you were doing bad things with the little money you have, when you gain enough, you wouldn't change. You would rather do worse. But if you are doing good with the little you have and God blesses you, you are going to do good. So it is very important. And you also made mention of tight, tight, tight. So if you spend your tight, it means you are spending your future. Wow, what a wonderful sermon from Pastor Chris. I believe you've learned a lot from it. So God bless you for watching the video with us. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.